Okay, welcome to part three of my tracking tutorial, and this is the final part, compositing and rendering in After Effects for the final product. So, import your scene again. First footage part is what you're going to need, and drag that in. And I always check to make sure it's proper composition, so composition settings. Uh, looks good. Okay, so now you go to, for your 3D text, you go to File, Import File and find your folder and click the first one, make sure it's import as footage and PNG sequence is checked, click open and drag that on top and now you see that I forgot my shadows but I'll make sure that you guys don't I'll review my tutorial and make sure it's perfect so you guys will have shadows and now I'm going to do a RAM preview and be right back Okay, I'm back, and now we have a full render preview, and you can't tell my shadows are not there. So, we're going to press Control k which will bring up your composition settings. And we're going to set the duration at 275. And the end frame, you can tell, it's not going to be overlapping our text. So, I'll play it back for you. Okay, so that looks pretty nice. Um, I don't really like the speed that it's going at, so what I'm going to do, select both. Control shift c is the shortcut. Pre-comp 1. Thank you. Okay, so now these are both composition. And to make it faster, I'm going to go to right-click the composition, time, enable time remapping. And I'm going to make this down to 150 frames, so, so I'm just going to zoom this. And I'm going to zoom in make sure it's perfect. And now, this is going to be nothing. So, from 150, you're just going to unclip this. And leave one extra frame. And Control K again. Duration 150. And I shouldn't have to re ram preview this, but if I will, I have to. Okay, I'll be right back. I don't want to waste your guys' time. Okay, so this is done. I will show you the final result now after speeding it up. So, that looks pretty nice if you ask me. And I know there's not shadows, and that, does, that is what makes it unrealistic. You can tell, and the material, but we're not going to worry about that. You now know exactly how to put it in. And what I'm, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color correct it just to make it look a little more realistic. So I'm going to go back into the composition and I'm going to go layer, new adjustment layer and I'm going to add some effects to it. So I'm going to go to my effects and presets and brightness I'm going to add some contrast to this thing to this baby. Um, just drag this contrast up. Let's say 15 is good. And I always love contrast. It looks so much better. Just that little bit. I'm going to put the brightness up a bit. And contrast. And that alone makes the scene look so much better. Just that little extra hit. So I'm going to make an adjustment layer just for curves. So I'm going to rename this if I can, please. Curves. And I'm going to drag that on. Because I usually like to lower the opacity with curves. Makes it much simpler. And look at that, that looks boom! Just everything really pops at you. I'm gonna go to the red channel, and Narrows is a blue map, so I'm gonna drag that down a bit and turn the green down up. And I'm gonna make a little curve with the blue, a little S shape. And that really, really brings out the colors, as you can see. Wow, look at that blues. So I'm going to go back and drag this up a bit. And back to this adjustment, I'm going to go effect, color correction, ignore all my massive amount of plugins. And I'm going to add a hue and saturation. And I'm going to find the saturation, and I'm going to desaturate everything a bit. Minus 20. I don't like saturation that much. Um, if you want, you can try to colorize, and, whoa, and make it a blue, I'm going to do that on a new layer, 
So I'm going to make one more layer, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to add effect. I'm actually going to turn down the adjust. So hit T, pass it, I'll make this 75 and just make it a little lighter. And back to this one, you let's call it, I don't want Bezier Warp, uh, layer, effect, color correction, hue and saturation, and I'm going to bring the saturation to minus 20. Actually, it doesn't matter, because if we're plugging colorize, it has its own saturation amount. And I'm going to make this a blue, because the scene's blue, of course. Whoa. Okay, and I'm going to add some saturation to that, so 30. And now I'm going to turn the opacity. I'm actually going to experiment here, put this on soft light, see what that looks like. It looks really different, 50% opacity. And now you can see, now you can tell the difference. Between all of them. See, this is the normal scene, as you can tell. And I'm going to get a picture of it. Okay, and then this is the color corrected scene. And not only does this make it look better, it also makes the text look it's really there. I'm actually going to turn this down to 50 and 25 and make it a little lighter. And a, I don't want it to be too much. And you can actually try changing the order of these, and it gives a different look to them. And I'm just going to keep them how they are. And that looks pretty nice. So you're done now. And what you're going to do is go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, Best Settings. And you can click Render, and you will be all finished up. And thank you for watching. I hope my tutorial helped you a lot.